Up next, the Cavaliers taking on the Celtics. For Cleveland, they can't be too disappointed, playing over 500 ball the last 10 games. But this team feels they are better than that and look to prove it with a big win tonight. Celtics Cavs. Tip-off coming right up. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Marcus Smart stands six foot three, but he said, I can guard bigs, so I started making a joke. I'm a stretch six. Forget a stretch five. My teammates loved it, and it just stuck with me. He added, I'm the youngest of four boys. So I've been up against bigger guys. To me, that means nothing. Kevin? <laughs> Stretch six. Huh? I love that. Great stuff, David. Thank you. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. You look at the Celtics. Right now, they're in seventh in the conference, looking to build on their record. And, of course, the Cavaliers. They're back in the eighth position. And seeing where the Cavaliers are, they're a team searching for a way to take a leap forward this season. So far, here in the early going, that leap has not existed. Yeah, it hasn't been all bad, though. I mean, they've had some nice wins, and even if they're not an elite-level team, they still have the look of a playoff team. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Down in the front court, along with Tatum. Smart is out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Horford in at the center. And for the Cavaliers. Here we go. Mobley and Allen, the two big men inside. The guard set is Garland and Sexton. And it's a Coro in at the three slot. For those teams, Greg, that had head coaching changes, how long does it take to fully implement a new system? Well, it, it typically takes a full season, and, and it also depends just on how complicated the system is. But all things being equal, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. And so it's the Celtics getting on the board first. Mobley kicks to a Coro. There's Garland. No good with the triple. Last game for the Cavaliers. They picked up the W against the Pistons. And the basket by Tatum. Well, off the dribble, Jason Tatum continues to perfect multiple options in his arsenal. Pass to Okoro. Allen with it. Guarded by Horford. And Okoro now top of the key. There's Garland. No good from outside. Brown against Sexton. Brown feeling it out a bit. It's stolen by Allen. Pass to Mobley. Makes it off the glass. Well, Coro is a team first guy that wants to involve his teammates. Pretty pass there. Garland against Schroeder. And the pass to Brown. Over Sexton. And it's Brown missing. The Cavaliers have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Sexton on the wing. Guarded by Tatum. Passes it to Garland. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Here's Sexton. Back to Garland. Takes a three. Kept alive. Mobile. Tough break there, shot after shot. They couldn't get anything to fall. Pass to Schroeder. Brown with it. Guarded now by Sexton. And it's Brown missing. Cleveland's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. 
a tremendous poise from Okoro on that foul. play. Takes the contact, finish, concentrates That's through the finish. Personal foul. The Cavaliers That's shooting their foul. first foul shot of the night. And, and they've the had really Cleveland. good numbers all season from the free throw line. Shooting one. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. It's Brown on the win. Back to Schroeder. Shoots over Garland, and there's Schroeder. That's good, the assist by Brown. Brown's got three assists tonight. If you give Dennis Schroeder space, he is going to get into his mid-range game. Knocks down that one. Now, here's Sexton. Scoring-wise, he's definitely making his mark. Right now, he's averaging about 19 points a game. Takes the three. A rebound by the Celtics. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks. Yeah, that was a rough outing. Uh, they, they did a few good things, but the inconsistencies caught up to them in that one. To be perfectly frank with you, I'm surprised it was as close as it was. I thought they were outclassed all night. Five to shoot. Horford, good. Well, coaches love seeing this from Dennis Schroeder. Recognize the situation, find the open teammate. And an area that's often underappreciated for Horford, he's a fantastic passer. Nothing flashy. Great vision in the post or at the top of the key. And he just keeps it moving and finds the open man. And here's Schroeder following Colin Sexton's three. Another shot, and it's finished off by Schroeder as he lays it in. Schroeder's got his second bucket. That's about willpower from Dennis Schroeder. Great job out hustling guys on the offensive glass. Allen dishes to Okoro. Sexton for three. Sexton can't get that one to drop. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. And stolen by Sexton. And here comes the break. Okoro passes to Garland. The dish to Sexton. Inside. Allen kicks to Garland. No good on the triple. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. And the basket by Tatum. Absolutely a threat. You've got to be on Tatum on the catch in three-point territory, or just like that, he will shoot lights out. Sexton finds Allen. Looking for Sexton. He gets it there. Happy to see that one go in for a second make in five attempts. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Now here's Smart. 11 points for him in that last game against Milwaukee. And guys, he was also huge on defense, turning away two shots and altering countless more. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got three assists tonight. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Okoro, wide open, he fires. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now here's Tatum. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Milwaukee. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboards. What a complete game for this guy. Now here's Okoro. Jason Tatum missing his last shot. You know, from the very start of his career, Colin Sexton has been a guy, Doris, who can find points, even as a rookie. He was putting up some big numbers. He is relentless. Looking for opportunities to score the basketball when he's on the offensive end. This guy shoots well over 40% from the field, and he will do whatever it takes to find shots. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Love's check in for Jared Allen, and Lowry Markinen subbed in for Mobley. Then for the Celtics, Ennis Canners checked in for Horford. Williams comes in for Brown. And it's Pritchard in for Dennis Schroeder. Now here's Smart. Left side Tatum. Shot clock at five. Goes back up. Here's Cantor. That one goes in. I love the hustle and the heart with which Ennis Cantor plays. This guy is a terror on the offensive glass. 
Sexton kicks to Okoro. Cleveland moving it around. There's the three. Rebound, Boston. Wow, this defense is blanking him down the stretch, and that's certainly hurting his team's chances. Richard. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Now it's a six-point Celtic lead. Here's Garland. Love trying to break loose. Garland, no good. This guy has not been a factor at all in this quarter, and it has hurt the team. The three from Tatum. And again, Boston with the triple. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Sexton finds Love. Now, here's Garland. They need this. Makes that one after missing his first six shot attempts. One for seven and hungry for more. About time he got one to fall there before that six straight misses to start this one. Now, here's Smart. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. And boy, have they come out strong, really pounding the offensive board for second chance points. To the inside, Love. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Well, that's just strength by Kevin Love to take the contact, not be bothered enough to lose concentration. At the elbow, Williams. Doesn't go, and he's 0 of 1 from the field. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Now, here's Okoro. He's guarded by Williams. Markinen kicks to Garland. Pass to Okoro. From downtown. That one, no good. And it's Boston the other way. Outside, smart. Going inside. There's the feed to Cantor. And the layup falls. And it's Cantor. Cantor's got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And Sexton slams it in. Okay, the initiative from the young bull, Colin Sexton, as some like to call him. How about that drive? Here's Pritchard. 11 points for him in that last game against Milwaukee. Now the pass to Tatum. Passes to Pritchard. He kicks it to Cantor. Outside Tatum. Launches a three. Boston getting another chance here. It's deflected. And they'll get another chance. Fires the three. Gets it to drop. And now he's shooting at a five for eight clip. And they are shooting the lights out from distance here early. So, timeout called here. The first for Cleveland. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Celtics team. And this, the first of three games these two teams will play against one another this season. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Windler's checked in. And Ricky Rubio subbed in for Garland. Richardson, he's checked in for Boston. Pass to Windler. A three ball. Love trying to break loose. Rebounded by the Celtics. Now, here's Richardson, and it's denied. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Pass to Pritchard. The kick out to Tatum. Dishes it to Richardson. Six to shoot. Over Love. Richardson, no luck. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Love against Tatum. The pass to Windler. Acoro with it. And stolen by Richardson. There's a minute 47 left to play in the Josh first. Richardson. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. It's early, but they are getting pummeled on the glass. Here's Love. 
score the basket, his second of two attempts. Well, you like to see Kevin Love operate from there. Yes, he can shoot the three, but he's also a dangerous interior scorer. Outside Tatum. And he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Here's Windler. A three-pointer is right on target. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Celtics leading by eight. Richard passes to Richardson. Outside Tatum. The Celtics working the ball around now. Here's Williams. Score of the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Here's Markinen, and the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. Hey, look, you got to keep Markinen out of the paint. He's just too big on that block and imposes his will. Outside Tatum. That three off the mark. The Cavaliers trail by eight. Okoro passes to Markinen, and good that time. The heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the back. And here is Tatum. 15 points in the game. Feeds to Cantor. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. That is the strength of Ennis Cantor on display. This guy is so good at staying with his shot, even when there's bodies around him. That's good from Cantor. 11 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Out to the wing. Arkanen passes to Love. Here's Windler. The tray. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. What a performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for the Celtics. He delivered nine points from three-point range that quarter. Terrific work from distance. Right back after this break. And one of the most prolific offensive rebounders in the league, Ennis Kent, breaks down the impact of that particular play. It goes an extra position and it's demoralized the uh, opponents. And I think it gives my teammates so much confidence. Tell them, hey, shoot it with confidence. And if you miss him, I'm going to go get it for you. And break so valuable having players who don't need plays called for them to have an impact. And he's shown he can score in the paint. But if he's not getting touches, he could also go and attack that offensive glass. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And when you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what do you think? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. I love the determination. They want to go after every rebound out there and overwhelming to the opposition right now. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. They've got done. Williams is out there with Ennis Kent. Then it's Josh Richardson, and it's Pritchard in at the two spot. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics made the Eastern Conference Finals three times over four seasons, but last season, injuries and COVID protocols knocked them down a peg. Ownership and management are patiently staying the course. With the young star talent, this team still has room to improve from within. Guys, back to you. Well, their upside in a lot of people's view remain. David, thanks. For Boston, they have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. That one is off. As you recall, Doris, there was a fair amount of criticism leading into the play-in tournament, but <laughs> that quickly dissipated. It did, Kevin, and the reason it did is because the play-in tournament is the closest 
we can replicate what happens at the end of the college basketball season when they get into that tournament that everybody loves. The fact of the matter is you've got a 48-minute game that is going to either advance or end somebody's season, and that kind of drama is so captivating. Well, how about the leaping ability of Jalen Brown? Soars high for the rim-rocking slam. Go to work, young man. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. They say it was last nice touch by Williams. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. But a really good read on his part, being disruptive at the defensive end right now. That one drops for him. Allen's got his first bucket in this one. And you got to like the vision for marking it. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. Down, down low. Back to Dunn. From beyond the arc. No good that time. And Cleveland will come the other way. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. You don't like to count on points from your reserves, but they had some hot hands coming off the bench. When you get that kind of a complete effort, that's a game you're going to win far more often than not. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Boston will return possession. On defense, Cleveland. They trail by seven. Here's Dunn. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mobley's got five rebounds tonight. Windler, the pass to Rubio. Now Markinen fires the three. It's hauled in by Richardson. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Here's Windler. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Detroit. Allen shot is off. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Down low. Here's Williams. Shoots over Mobley. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws. He's first personal foul. And on top of the talent, the, the physical ability, Williams, just a coachable kid, and he really picks things up quick. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for Chris Dunn. And he can't hit the second. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. And it's rare to find a young big man with such an advanced skill set. Mobley can handle the ball like a small forward, has a smooth shot and, and great range. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication, and now he's able to make them pay. Round against Markinen. Pass to Williams. Shots good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his fourth assist in this one. And as much as Mobley helps you out in the offensive end, Craig, he can get you stops as well. Yeah, I mean, he's got great instincts with quick reflexes that can slide his feet on the perimeter and has great timing as a shot blocker. I mean, what else do you need? Sexton, he's checked in for Cleveland. Darwin comes in for Ricky Rubio. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for Boston. They've led by as many as 11 points. There's Schroeder. They get it back. Oh, and he pops it off the glass. Wow. The feed to Allen. The fader. And that one drops for him. Well, just quick with the decision-making. Smart pass by Darius Darling. Celtics leading by five. Schroeder dishes to Horford. Over Allen. That one off the back iron and out. For Cleveland, they've gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. Garland, the pass to Windler. Tries again. And Mobley finishes inside. Mobley! Now it's just a three-point Boston lead. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. 
and it's Allen slamming it down. Well, that's an example of using both vision and playmaking ability to find the open teammate. Sexton is a quality floor general. Boston's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Here's Brown. He can't get that one. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Garland kicks to Mobley. Back to Garland. Here's Windler. Outside Garland. Kicks it out to Allen. Down to five on the shot clock. Second chain shot. Garland, no good. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. Brown, good. Well, this That's is where the powerful frame and explosive athleticism of Jalen Brown becomes a problem for the opponent. Nicely done. Now, here's Sexton. A 23-point game for him in the win against Detroit. Well, you also have to credit the way he controlled the pace of the game and was able to create for his teammates. And they've repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Here's Garland. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Horford. And Cleveland making a change here. Okoro's checked in. Then for the Celtics, Jason Tatum comes in for Robert Williams. And Marcus Smart is subbed in for Richardson. Horford against Sexton. Allen passes to Okoro. Clock at four. Garland, no good. What a brutal night for this guy. And it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Schroeder, right side. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got his fourth rebound in this one. Stolen by Smart. For the finish. And fouled as he went up to the dunk. Good aggressive move and he'll shoot two. It's on Jared Allen. One thing Dennis Schroeder has proven is that he can be an effective player whether he's starting or coming off the bench. This is a virtual guard and maybe his best attribute, confidence. And free agency unkind to Dennis Schroeder over the summer bet on himself to get a bigger deal in the offseason and cap space drying up quickly and he just lacked suitors he eventually catches on with this team but this wasn't the ideal scenario now here's Okoro taking a look at his stance he's averaging around seven and a half points a game you know what that's all about hustle and a nose for the basketball tremendous job on the offensive glass by Jared Allen Celtics leading by five. Schroeder with the ball. He's got eight. Pass to Tatum. Three-pointer. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got six rebounds here tonight. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. He dishes it to Sexton. And they get it back. The second effort. And it's good on the way. Allen's got 10 points in the game. You like Allen to keep his concentration. Refuses to let the defense out-muscle or outwork him. Tatum looking around. Into the lane. And the dunk by Tatum. I mean, already hot coming into the game. It, is it fair to say he's hotter? Sexton finds love. Outside Garland, beyond the arc. And Boston with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. At the elbow, Horford. Outside Tatum. Shot clock at six. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Now here's Allen. A 14-point game for him in the win against Detroit. Yeah, but the rebounding in that game as well was just tremendous. I mean, he dominated the backboard. Here's Schroeder. Jared Allen making his last shot. And Tatum puts up a deep three. 
Tatum with another miss. He started the game scorching the Nets from deep. Three triples in the first period, but none here in the second. Allen against Horford. Tipped away. Being shot on the way. And misses it off the right side of the rim. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Here's Sexton. Plays it up off the glass. Sexton. He's got 11. Okay, Jared Allen. We see you making that look for a big man. That's a pretty pass. Horford against Allen. Puts it up from 12. It's good from Schroeder on the assist by Horford. Schroeder's got 10 points in the game. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. And the Cavaliers call time here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. Harkonnen, he's checked in for Allen. And then for Boston. Cantry checked in for Horford. And it's... Richard in for Dennis Schroeder. The Cavaliers trail by five. Garland kicks to a Coral. Unloads from 13. Good on the jump shot. 
Well, this is showing off that Kevin Love is a complete offensive player. He can drain that mid-range with regularity if that's what you give him. Two minutes. The kick out to Tatum. Here's Cantor. The third Ennis shot of the possession finally falls ball. for him. Peyton Nine Kinger. points for Ennis Cantor. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. Now, here's Garland. He's coming off a 19-point game against Detroit. And even while he just piled up all those points, he still found a way to create chances for his teammates. The assists just kept on coming. And Boston has possession after Darius Garland missing on that last three-pointer. Smart. Doesn't go that time. Cavaliers trailing. Sexton dishes to Okoro. Love the pass to Markinen. That's in there. Love with the assist. Markinen's got his third basket of the night right there. Well, Kevin Love just has a great feel for the game. He has a strong understanding of their offense, and he's a very willing passer. That's why you see what you see there. Now here's Tatum. 19 points in the game. Pritchard gets the bucket. The three-pointer becomes a very high percentage shot when he's that wide open. You better get a hand in his face. To the middle. Here's Love, and Love throws it down. Oh, guys, Love leaves no doubt with the finish on that one. Celtics leading by four. Smart passes to Cannon. 32 seconds left in the first half of the game. Nails the baby hook. Cantor's got four this quarter. Well, the defense wants to keep the ball out of that area. Why? Because if it gets in there, most players are going to finish. Arkanen can't get it to go. And so Brown will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. To the paint. Here's Tatum. Plays it up and banks it in. And now an eight-point Boston lead. All right. Defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Arkanen kicks to Garland. Let's it go from deep. Trains it from beyond the arc. Garland's got his second basket of the night. Well, a lot of distance on that jumper by Darius Garland. Nice. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Celtics lead by five. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just going to take it in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. And it feels good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. It was all Jason Tatum in the first quarter. He had 21 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? The bench scoring has been a big key for them. They came in with energy, and they were able to give the starters a real break because of the way they performed. That's the kind of production every team hopes to have. Shaq, how do you think Cleveland played? Oh, uh, they can't be happy with their defense, allowing over 50% shooting. They need to be a lot more aggressive with that in the score. Get those hands up. Do, do the early shuffle. Bop, bop, bop. The early shuffle. Bop, bop, bop. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. He just loved the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. And we've got second-half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. The Cavaliers trail by five. Sexton and Okoro are your wingmen. 
Mobley and Allen, the two big men inside. And it's Garland in at the point. And that's the group for J.B. Bickerstaff as we begin the second half. Boy, Colin Sexton is just so young, so energetic. This guy taking over right now. Schroeder dishes to Smart. Outside Tatum. Shot from 12. The shot will not fall. Cavaliers go the other way with it. Okoro passes to Garland. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Allen kicks to Sexton. Pass to Garland. For the lead. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Sexton's got four assists now tonight. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Now here's Schroeder. Brown wide open. He fired. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. The pass to Allen. Banked in off the glass. Allen's got the lead up to three now for Cleveland. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Brown against Allen. To stop the run. Oh! We've got to get this guy in the dunk contest. Jalen Brown taking flight with that insane athleticism. A shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. You know, missed that one, but still a really good start coming off the break. Three for four now. Tatum no good. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Sexton finds Allen. Back to Sexton. Allen with it. Shoots over Brown. Here's Allen. Good work defensively by Horford. The Celtics have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming up to lock with the break. Smart misses. Only 20% shooting in this quarter. They need to settle down and relax a little bit here. Passes it to Garland. Here's Mobile, guarded by Horford. And it's sent back by Horford. Well, this guy is a consistent shot block threat. Al Horford twice on the pipes. Here's Tatum. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Mobley's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Garland against Brown. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Garland the pass to Okoro. Here is Mobley. A second chance effort. He lays it in. Mobley's got 10 points. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Count that bucket. And this is Schroeder's game, right? Get off the dribble drive with a quick first step. Nice. To the inside. Allen. That's good. And it's Garland with the assist. Garland's got assist number five here tonight. What a great shooting performance. His percentage is outstanding. Now, here's Schroeder. 12 points for him. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's on Jared Allen. This guy has quality wingspan for his size. Dennis Schroeder can adapt and adjust to defensive pressure. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Windler's checked in. And Ricky Rubio subbed in for Garloff. The Celtics also changing it up. Williams, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. Josh Richardson comes in for Brown. And it's done in for Marcus Smart. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. The first free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Boston trailing. Now Schroeder. 15 points in the game. Richardson outside. Pass to Horford. Over Allen. Horford no luck. For Cleveland, they've gone even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. Allen passes to Windler. Over Richardson. A rebound by the Celtics. Williams has got six rebounds now in the game. Rubio against Richardson. 
get the done. Five on the clock. 11 feet away and too long on the shot. Cleveland's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Inside, shoots from 12. Rebound by Williams. Boston's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Schroeder with the ball. Guarded now by Rubio. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Feeds it to Sexton. No good. Good work defensively by Richardson. Pass to Schroeder. Scores the bucket. He's 7 for 11 and continues to look good. Uh, show me your vision, Josh Richardson. What a delivery. Schroeder against Sexton. Rubio, the pass to Windler. Sexton up top. He's guarded by Schroeder. Windler's shot is off. Talk about hurting your team. I mean, he just can't get anything to go out there. And Greg at 6'5 and 200 pounds, not the most Ronald imposing Williams. frame for Josh Richardson, but he is a quality defender. Well, a lot of it is between the ears. I mean, the plus wingspan helps, but it's that competitive will that enables him to hold his own. And the Cavaliers with possession here after the basket by Boston. Mobley, the pass to Rubio. Good on the bucket. Ricky Rubio's got it all tied up now for the Cavs. Well, the balance that Ricky Rubio has, even under duress, stays calm and finds a way to score it. The drive by Schroeder. And there's a slam dunk to finish it off. Big hops from the backcourt. Oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game, G.A., going in their direction. All right, baby. Boy, as tight as get this on one is, that's a statement noise. play. We're Say, hey, time. listen, we're not here to back down from you guys. Timeout called the Cavaliers. A different look now for Cleveland. Kevin Love's checked in for Allen. And it's Markinen in for Mobley. Cantory checked in for Boston. Richard comes in for Dennis Schroeder. Outside, Sexton. Cleveland moving it around. Here's Windler. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Here's Cantor. Head shot off. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, you love the fearless nature of Colin Sexton. Forces the issue, gets himself to the free throw line. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. They've also jumped at every chance to attack the basket tonight. Just terrific penetration. Now, here's Cantor. 11 points in the game. Pritchard passes to Williams. Here's Pritchard. It's deflected. And blocking shots. Mostly about will and desire. Marking and showing he has it on that one. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Three on the clock. Here's Cantor. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine. 67% shooting. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Williams with the block. A main staple in Williams' game. That sixth sense for when to rise up and deter those shots. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Windler, the best to love. Rubio outside. Sexton for three. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Down against Rubio. Knocked away. Outside, Markinen. 
lets it go with a three. That shot off, and it's Boston the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Pritchard. Seven points in the game. Williams finds Richardson. Fades and shoots, and it comes off the front of the rim. And so Sexton will bring it up for Cleveland. Four-point game. Left side, Love. There's the pass to Windler. Sexton on the wing. Passes it to Rubio. Lock at six. Here's Windler. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. And the shot goes Josh in. Richardson. Richardson's got six. Oh, you love that about Josh Richardson. The ability to score through an incredible contest defensively. Nicely done. Here's Markinen. Rebound by Williams. Austin leading by six. Here's Pritchard. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Sexton, the pass to Love. And Love throws it down. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Here's Pritchard. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Richardson outside. Back to Canner. To the middle. Here's Williams. He's on target from eight feet out. Williams has got four points now in the quarter. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. It's timeout call for Cleveland. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Okoro, he's checked in for Cleveland. Two minutes. Harlan comes in for Sexton. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for the Celtics. Marcus Smart comes in for Dunn. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And here's Smart after Darius Garland getting his shot to go from deep. Here's Pritchard. That one, no good. And Cleveland will come the other way. Garland left side. Cleveland moving the ball around. Cantor against Rubio. Okoro passes to Markinen. Over Tatum. They grab their own miss. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. From the moment he entered the lead, Kevin Love has been one of the top offensive rebounders in the NBA. Simply tenacious. The Celtics making a switch here. Rounds checked in. Here's Pritchard. Seven points in the game. Brown outside. Fifty-eight seconds left here in the third quarter. Oh my goodness, Brown finishes off the drive, not simply laying it in, but a message of authority on the dunk. And the basket by Rubio. Rubio. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Here's Pritchard, covered by Rubio. Pass to Tatum from deep, and that's collected by Love. Love's got four rebounds in this game. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And marking in out of Finland, Greg, was one of the hot names in free agency this last summer. And surprisingly, didn't get an extension before the season. It's just hard to find seven-footers that can shoot like Markkinen. You knew at least a few teams would try and lure him away. And Markkinen drops them both. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Brown outside. Kicks to Tatum. Shoots over Markinen. Tatum's shot is off. That makes him over this quarter, and that has not helped their cause. Can't connect from short range. And now with the fast break, Smart with the ball. Out to the right wing. Can't 
connect. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Cleveland ahead. They finish off the third quarter on a 12-4 run. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. It's the fourth quarter. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Down in the front court along with Tatum. Then it's Marcus Smart. Then it's Ennis Kent. And it's Pritchard in at the point. Now here's Brown. Shoots from 12. And Okoro pulls it down. Cavaliers leading. Rubio finds Markinen. In the corner, Okoro with it. Stolen by Smart. And now it's Brown running. He can go all the way and finish off by Brown. I tell you, when Brown is running like that, it's hard to stop him. This guy is superb at beating defenders up the floor. And so Garland will bring it up for Cleveland. Pass to Okoro. Up top, Garland. What's up a three? And Boston with the rebound. Brown outside. Over a Coro. Second shot opportunity. The shot's good from Cantor. And the Celtics lead by two. You need more of that from Ennis Cantor. This guy possesses the kind of offensive game that can be devastating. He tries for three. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got rebound number five here tonight. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Here's Pritchard, covered by Rubio. Just four to shoot. Tatum wide open, he fires one. Offensive rebound, Celtics. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Well, the touch that Ennis Cantor presents is really terrific. Unbelievable scoring inside. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Jared Allen comes in for Kevin Love. And it's Mobley in for Lowry Markinen. Then his shooters check in for Boston. Now, here's Garland. Allen trying to break free. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Mobley. Man, that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. Got a hand on it. Now, here's Okoro. He's tightly guarded. For Boston, they've gone 3 of 7 from the 4 in the 4th. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Rubio, the pass to Allen, shoots over Kansas. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Remains Cleveland ball. Off the inbound. There's Allen. That's good in the assist from Okoro. Okoro's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And there's the pass to Kansas. Kick out to Brown. In the corner. Tatum with it. Over Allen. Tatum no good. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Outside Garland. Garland. 
looking to end his cold spell. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Austin shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby, 38%. Well, Dorsey's already a great scorer, and now Tatum has become an incredibly efficient scorer. Well, listen, the great ones are not only about putting up numbers. It's how efficiently you do it. From three, from the free throw line, this guy is so much more consistent. And yes, he's got the mid-range game that he can go to in tough spots. This guy plays big at the rim. He's everything you want offensively. Colin Sexton, he's checked in for the Cavs. Celtics also with a sub. Horford's checked in. Sexton gets to Allen. Outside Garland. Cleveland moving the ball around. Passes it to Sexton. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. And the Celtics with possession here. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Brown against Sexton. Pass to Tatum. Here's Horford. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Well, this is the aspect of Tatum's game that is most improving, the ability to manipulate defenses and find an open teammate. Now here's Allen, and he comes up with the deuce. Allen's got four points now in the quarter. Garland against Schroeder. Outside Tatum. Brown outside. Six on the shot clock. Schroeder outside. Mobley with the rebound. Cleveland's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Sexton the pass to Allen. The dish to a coral. Back to Allen. Outside, Sexton. The offensive rebound, Mobley. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Tatum against them. And there's the bucket from Tatum. Tatum's got 25 points in the game. Well, Jason Tatum has proven that over stretches of a game, he can take over with his scoring ability. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being dead. line for Cleveland, Jarrett Allen. That free throw good from Allen. And guys, I think the future is so bright for Jared Allen. We're talking about an athletic, mobile big man who has already proven to be an accomplished two-way player. Celtics are gone. 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Outside Tatum. A three. Sexton grabs the board. Sexton's got four rebounds in this game. He started out strong. Three threes the first half, but the long ball has disappeared on him since. Now, here's Sexton. Here's Allen. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Smart on the wing. Defended by Sexton. In the corner, Horford with it. And good oh, as it just snugs right down through the net. Well, this guy's got such big-time mobility for a big man. Al Horford specializes in finding the gaps in the defense. Nice catch and shoot. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Here's Schroeder following the score by Cleveland. Got a piece of it. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Jared Allen. You know, if you give him the opportunity, Al Horford will seek contact. He wants to get to the line. And Al Horford drops them both. Yeah, a good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half. Doing a great job at the line. Allen finds Sexton. And here is a Okoro. Now, Garland. Started by Schroeder, and it goes down two points. Garland's got the game tied up here for the Cavs. 
Well, I like the toughness required on that finish by Darius Garland. Boy, oh boy, that was nice. The willingness to mix it up on the interior, so important. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. Boy, and not just the aggression, the ability to get to the rim, but how about the finish with intention? Oh, Allen kicks to Garland. Pass to Mobley. And stolen by Tatum. Brown outside. He gets it in there. Jaylen Brown. And now a four-point Boston lead. And you know what? He's shaken off the cold shooting performance from the first half. Outside Garland. A three-pointer off the mark. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. They've led by as many as 11 points. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Sexton. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show. That's his third free throw. personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Cavaliers, Colin Sexton. First two one shots. falls for him. Well, Colin Sexton, I think, is a crafty point guard with tremendous upside. He obviously can facilitate and be a distributor. The key is, can he knock down shots consistently? The Celtics have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Outside, smart. Down low, here's Tatum, and the dunk by Tatum. Well, you see Jason Tatum rise above the defense and leave no doubt. Mobley with it, and it's Horford picking him up. Cleveland moving the ball around. Garland. Here's Allen. And he banks in the lane. Allen's got 26. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12 minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Four kicks to Tatum. Back to Schroeder. But three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mobley's got his 18th rebound here tonight, all over the place. Here's Garland. It's good. This game is all even. 16 points for Darius Garland. Big time delivery from the young Darius Garland. The feed to Horford. No good that time. Excellent D there from Allen. To take the lead. And the layup, good by Okoro. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Her passes to Horford. Back to Schroeder. Over Garland. And there's Schroeder. That's good. The assist by Horford. Schroeder's got 13 points here in the second half alone. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assistant. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Two minutes. Now, here's Garland. Over smart. Garland, no good. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's when he normally converts. And the dunk by Tatum. Jason Tatum under duress. Big moment, no problem. Outside, Sexton. He kicks it to Akola. And Garland has it in the corner. Off target from three-point range. The Celtics with the lead. Schroeder, right side. Garland with the rebound. Now Cleveland shooting about 33% here in the fourth quarter. Sexton, the pass to Mobley. Outside Garland, it's Allen on the win. And Horford pulls it down. Boston's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. The three from Tatum. Frames it from downtown. Man, you can get chills watching Jason Tatum want to deliver in the clutch. Sexton for three. 
Wow, came this close to a four-point point. Head head to the line for three free throws. 13 foul. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. Colin Sexton, three shots. He makes the first of three, and that shrinks the margin to just four. The second one drops, and that narrows the lead down to just three. And no good on the third free throw. So he ends up going two of three. He gets them to within one possession, but that miss puts a lot of pressure on their defense. Oh, Jalen Brown with a big shot, proving hard work pays off. Here's Sexton. It's good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Oh, what a delivery by the young Colin Sexton. Fearless and unbowed. Here's Tatum. Yes! Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. So much riding on that shot. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. And now we decide to foul intention. Personal foul. 14 foul. Twenty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one, and an intentional foul right there. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a four-point ball game. Yeah, the crucial part of those free throws is that it now makes it a two-possession game. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They're trailing by four. We've got twenty-two seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Dennis Schroeder. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge's reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard J.B. Bickerstaff talking with his team. He told them they have to keep fighting. He said, hey, look, we're right here, but we can't make mistakes. we got to be aggressive and smart. Back to you guys. in the penalty. At the line for the second. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. Guys, when you think about athletes from the Dominican Republic, I think obviously baseball is the first thing to come to mind. But there have been more than a few Dominican players in the NBA, and Al Horford would be right at the top of that list. Sexton for three, and they recover it. And the offensive rebound and really the story here today, even with the big lead, they're still showing more hustle on the board. And so it's the Boston Celtics with the W. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Al, congrats. Tough game tonight. When do you think you guys really locked in and started taking control of the game? It all started the second half. We didn't do a good job the first half. We let them hang around. But, um, uh, it, you know, at least we uh, reacted better the second half. This is one of those games that we just had to, you know, will, will our way uh, to win this. A lot of games like that, you have to kind of just grind out, Al. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.